here we go. Um, Estero. Yep, that's the one I talked about before. That's yeah, basically the iconic exploration ship. Uh, and this one is actually like uh, somebody also mentioned in chat. Uh, the fully PvP fit uh, as terror waiting for you or your heron or uh, heal yours or whatnot. Uh, that's basically me. Um, this thing actually has somewhere, if I can find them, two kill marks from, yeah, exactly that T1 exploration ships. Um, because I actually tried my hand at uh, explorer hunting while I was uh, exploring. Or exploring myself a uh, really evil pirate thing for me to do but yeah I wanted to try it so it was an experience so it's also like a way for you to get into pvp you can do exploration and then go further uh, do Astero, Stradius or T3 cruiser and then maybe be hunter yourself at least for a change Okay, um, yeah, as I said, this is um, also fit for actual tank and uh, actual damage. Um, but I have a data analyzer on here and I'll bring up the probe window. So that's uh, Alt P is the uh, usual uh, way to get there. But you also can click here uh, right next to the capacitor and get your probe scan up that way. And then you have the probe scanner, you can also get the probe scanner somewhere else if you want. Um, and you have the view of the system. And here you have the uh, signatures. Okay, um, so you have the uh, system map and you have your um, D scan range here as well. So you can uh, see what's in your D scan range. Uh, to actually be safe, you have your uh, signature here, which you can double click on and then the camera focuses on it. And you have it a little bit highlighted. Um, so you can actually find it under different uh, signatures. There's just this one here right now but yeah you might have like 20 signatures and warm or something and <laughs> uh, yeah you can uh, obviously use your mouse uh, scroll wheel to uh, uh, yeah scroll in and out uh, zoom in and out um, what's really neat you can uh, use a top and side view and you can also do that by just double clicking uh, in the view uh, and that's really helpful to get your get like really fast at scanning um, before I really just I was dragging around the camera and dragging the probes and uh, but what you really need is just these two directions you need to uh, get in get them into the horizontal plane and the vertical plane in the right uh, in the right setup so you can just double click switch between them and just set them where you need them and then scan okay so we have uh, probes mm, obviously this thing is a bit uh, overkill here uh, it has a sister uh, uh, sisters probe launcher uh, and sisters probes Uh, obviously with those that's gonna be pretty darn easy to scan this down this is high sec after all as well um, so usually what I do is like I either create a um, bookmark or uh, yeah I've already bookmarks um, warp to the bookmark yeah cloak up if you're in an Astero or in other co-warps uh, ship you actually can uh, cloak while you warp with a covert ops cloak so that's really good uh, in warmer space obviously to get around unseen so I'm getting to a safe and 
looking up and then I can scan down. Uh, problem is obviously if you are cloaked or if you're in warp you cannot actually get your um, probes out. Uh, so if you don't have your probes out you need to uncloak um, and do that out of warp. So usually what I do is get in system, warp to a bookmark or uh, on my way to get a bookmark and drop probes on the way uh, and then start scanning right away. Okay, then we'll have the view here. Uh, we have the uh, probes here clustered together. Um, we have the different uh, formations here you can use, but we just use the pinpoint formation. Um, you can see the scan strength here and you can already see also what uh, actually uh, works on the scan strength. So we have a base value and then we have skills. Mm. And then uh, we have the modules, uh, we have implants. Yes, there are also specifically, you can get a like one plus billion uh, implant set uh, for your explorer and get like a ridiculously good at uh, uh, scanning. But obviously, um, especially if you're in wormholes on all sec, you will definitely use that uh, pot at some point. So yeah, do it on your own risk. Uh, and you have the ship bonus, um, so the Astera has a flat bonus there. Um, yeah, and then we have the total value. Um, we have scan deviation. So if something pops up uh, after scanning, uh, you have a bit of deviation where the actual thing is. So that's what that basically is. And then you have a amount uh, the uh, amount of time the probes need to actually scan uh, after you analyze something. So I'm obviously using shortcuts here. Um, uh, if you do Alt and scroll well, you can change the uh, radius, the scanning radius, and click uh, Analyze. Or use the shortcut for that as well. So I'm starting with 8 AU here. Uh, and there it is, so I can click on that again, focus on it, uh, go in the one plane, uh, get my probes over there, uh, get my probes over there and get to the other plane and then uh, switch it there, okay. Not perfectly pinpointed. Let's zoom in and do it a little bit better and then go to 2 AU and get on with it. And it's a wormhole, so we could, for instance, just jump into that, uh, which I will not do right now, but yeah. Uh, that's what we can then scan down. So usually uh, once it's yellow, you're already well on your way and you will actually reveal uh, what's what it is. So is it a comet site, a gas site, uh, a wormhole, or is it uh, another wormhole, or is it uh, yeah, a data site, relic site or not? So the further your percentages go, the more you reveal about the actual thing. Uh, what you will also see here when you hover over it is the uh, scanning difficulty level. So this is level 1 and you have up to level 5. And level 5s are really hard to scan down. You really need a specific exploration focus uh, ship for it. And good skills or decent skills and probably sister uh, modules and probes as well. But up to level 4 is somewhat doable with good skills in nearly anything. Uh, level 3 is definitely very nice, very good to go, even for an alpha, so yeah. And there it is, unstable wormhole. We could check that out, but we will not right now. But once it's green, you have the uh, warp two button, but you can also right click on it and warp at range, which uh, might be advisable if you're in wormhole space. Uh, and want to check it out from a distance. 
I'll check if it's actually camped or something. Yeah, that's the scanning part. Um, obviously, if you have questions about that. Uh, Thanks for linking people in Discord. Okay, and obviously we have no hacking site here right now, but what's really nice um, to actually just train the hacking part uh, and get to know it is you can hack structures. So we can hack our own structure, for instance, just go to HSC and hack those. Uh, Hitler asks if I use other formations at all. No, I always use pinpoint. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, one uh, really nice thing I actually discovered when coming back. So I had a, like a two year break from Eve. Um, and before um, you could lose your probes really easily you had to always recover active probes and if you didn't do that well you jumped the wormhole you jumped the gate or whatnot your probes were in the other system and then they were gone at some point if you yeah gone away and forgot them you're you have a problem <laughs> you've lost your probe set um so i always had a second probe set ready and nowadays it's really cool they get just automatically uh, recovered when you jump a gate or jump anything or dock up or whatnot so that's really really nice great quality of our uh, quality of light choice uh, change Okay, we are at the structure and we can lock it up uh, and we don't want to attack it, but we uh, just use our data analyze on it and it opens a hacking window. So if you're here and you have a data analyzer, you can also do that and just try it out. Or if you're wherever and you have a structure around, you can just do that. That is not an act of aggression, actually. Uh, this is a way to recon. Uh, to do recon weep, structures. Weep, security breach, security breach. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike might kill you, obviously, but... <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I've been waiting for this for five minutes. <laughs> Very good, Mike. Worth it. Uh, definitely. Okay, and you have a hacking grid here now. It's pretty big because... Um, Hacking structures is actually not that easy if you're just starting out. Um, I have like, um, because of the, I mean, I have only have a T1 uh, analyzer right now, but with a T2 analyzer, the would look uh, even crazier. Uh, but obviously with the skills and the ship, the stats are pretty decent. Um, but yeah, these grids are actually max, uh, max level, I think, um, or near to uh, max difficulty. Uh, so if you're just starting out you might need a few tries but the nice thing is uh, with the can you only have two tries if you fail a second time you lose the can obviously this structure will not explode if i <laughs> uh, fail this hack uh, too many times uh, that would be hilarious um, you can do it just over and over again just to practice so we see, okay, that's a three. So that says, okay, any node um, defensive subsystem or what are not is the three jumps away. Um, here we have a two, okay. And we have abused the root of six. So I can basically click through this whole grid if I want, because all of these are safe or basically reveal the core for me. So this is super easy, super easy. Okay, there's a one. Uh, okay, those are data caches. So I could click on those and I might get like a nice item, but I might also activate a defensive subsystem. So I'm not gonna use them right now. So usually I would say only click on the data cache if you're stuck, because for instance, you have like a, 
uh, you need to go through uh, some place here and you have a really hard hard uh, defensive subsystem there which you cannot breach at the moment because maybe you got damaged already um, and you have no other way to actually progress okay then click on a data cache maybe you get an item that actually helps you uh, go further but other one other than that I would say just leave them here's the uh, firewall oh there's the core okay that's uh, yeah I would have expected the core here or here but okay well good we found the core uh, and we do 30 damage so we just need three clicks on it it just do it does 10 damage back and we get uh, the reinforcement timer for the structure uh, so that's what actually uh, happens when you hack a structure. Yeah, Amy um, linked what uh, actually is the background, the law background basically where you uh, can hack structures. Yeah, okay. Uh, so are there a few people that want to start, uh, want to try the head and scanning and don't have an expanded probe launcher and combat probes? If you are an Amy and you de scan, you will actually see uh, Hideo Data's Reaper around. If you, from HSC, there's only one scene, but I've planted a few in Amy so you can. Let's try and scan those down. You will find a little bit of loot inside, so you can kill them actually, uh, at least if you're in Ifuni. And you can, uh, yeah, try your hand at uh, scanning those down if you want. I'll pay for the corpse if you get the actual Hideo Date. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not inside, so you don't actually get uh, a corpse. I don't know. I want to, uh, them to hunt you down. <laughs> okay. I can just cloak up. <laughs> drive active. I'm running away right now. <laughs> Okay, uh, do we have anyone in Amy who wants to try the hand at this and maybe needs an expanded probe launcher or combat probes or something? You can just speak up or... Amy found one, nice! Kill it and maybe get some interesting loot. Right. Okay, if uh, there are no further questions for now, if there's nobody who needs some help here with the training or doesn't want to train, I'll probably just conclude this for now. I'll be continuing to stream. I'll just bring a little bit of a uh, pause for the moment and then I'll continue streaming and we'll do some interceptor exploration in Nalsec, so I'll show you a bit of, yeah, a bit of niche exploration, maybe a bit more advanced you could call it, although it's not really advanced I'd say, but yeah, it's it's not like base exploration. Oh yes, I got a kill report, very nice. 
And what did you get? You get this Sidrin and an Enduring Assault Damage Control. And a couple civilian modules. Very good, Amy. <laughs> Thanks for following, Basic. Yeah, so obviously that's... I mean, the loot from killing a ship is obviously a bit different than when you get a can. But I think that's really one of the core things in exploration, in hacking exploration. You don't know what you're getting. You might get a can, especially like in Warmo, you might get a can that has like 20 million in it, right there. I had an 80 million can the other day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you get in the ghost site, you might have like one can, a hundred plus million, potentially. Um, you might also get a carbon or nothing. And uh, you might also find like a system that has like 10 relic and 10 data sites that you hack all of them and you have like 200 plus million loot or something. Uh, obviously you might lose that on the way, but you might also go around for like hours and find like one site and get like 5 million out of it. So that's obviously the trade-off with exploration. It's very much random in many ways. So you can really get lucky if you're easily frustrated, I would say, by uh, yeah going out and okay you're doing one session and you don't find anything you really just want to throw away uh, that explorer career then maybe that's not for you but if you get at it yes it's not really the isk efficient thing to do like honestly a hundred million an hour is meh. yeah you need to get lucky for that um so consistently 100 million dollar obviously you can do that whatever nelsec rating or whatnot uh, level four mission uh well definitely uh incursions very reliable and you don't need to get anything to the market if that's your jam then maybe exploration isn't for you but if you like the thrill if you just like exploring if you um, like the risks if you enjoy uh, just yeah maybe having that one can that gives you like basically pays for your ship um and then you get it out and you get blown up by a hunter or uh, in a gate camp or whatnot and uh, if that doesn't face you uh, this is really just awesome i enjoyed exploration immensely from the start and i started first in 2012 so exploration was very very different right when it was uh, implemented um it was a freaking pain because you needed to manually set your probes and all of that you didn't have like any of the convenience nowadays uh yeah it was a pain and it was still really cool i gotta say and it's gotten amazing uh, i think it's a really nice like the best most enjoyable thing you can really do on your own and very easily get into it oh are you killing all of them <laughs> there are